let's talk about your progression now, um, four starts. And where do you feel like you've made sure. the most improvement in your game? Uh, I think I just feel more comfortable with every start. Um, you know, I got two road starts now, last two weeks. And I think you just every time I go out there, I feel a little bit more comfortable, you know, and I get get you know even more time down my receivers that um, maybe I didn't get as much reps with in the beginning of the season, so that helps. Uh, just you know whether it's uh, you know learning the playbook even in more depth, stuff like that. I think it's just experience and being being able to go out there and, and play confidently. Sean, from how hard was that to swallow Saturday again? And how do you help your teammates come, come back from that? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely tough. Four overtime game, you know, we, we I think the whole team fought as hard as, you know, we fought hard all the way to the end. And, you know, there's a few plays here and there that could, you know, that, that were the difference. And so it's tough to swallow, but we're going to bounce back from the final. We're going to get to work today at practice and, uh, you know, put it behind us. You played a game like that before? Um, never four overtimes, no, sir. Sean, you said to like put it behind you. So for Carter's one of those guys that just seemed really, really down after that game. And, and statistically, he had a decent game. Mm -hmm. Had some catches at the end during that drive. Yes, sir. Just, just talk about how you kind of tried to pick him up and, and make sure he's kind of focused. For the yeah, game. I mean, he made a lot of good plays that you know put us in the position to win. And uh, he's a he's a great receiver, you know. Uh, and um, and he'll use it as motivation. You know, I think he was down on himself after the game, but I think now he's ready to use it as motivation for the rest of the season. And like you said, I mean, he didn't even have that bad of a game, but he's hard on himself. And, um, you know, he, he's going to be ready ready to go the rest of the season and, you know, and, and just keep making plays for us. I'm very confident in Carter. Is there anything you said to him after the game when he was so down on himself there? Um, I mean, he, he was pretty down. You know, just, you know, everybody on the team, really, myself included, just come up, you know, man, pick your head up. You know, you're, like, like I said earlier, I mean, he was one of the reasons that we had a chance to win. And uh, he's a great receiver, and we know he'll bounce back and make plays. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind about that. John, four games into this, having probably not expected that, expected this, is it better what you what you thought it would be like playing um, in the SEC? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm having fun. You know, obviously, I wish we could have won a couple of those games, but um, you know, I'm having fun playing uh, with my teammates, playing for my coaches, and you know, like, like you said, playing in the SEC, um, especially as a redshirt freshman, it's been a blessing. And um, you know, I'm just trying to take everything in stride and try to keep learning, and getting better. Because that's what I have to do. How much did your mentality have to change over the last month or so? Because it's one thing to say you're always ready for mm -hmm. if something happens with start and stuff, but once it comes to reality, how much does the mentality have to Sure. Change? Yeah, I mean, it's it's different, no doubt about it, when you're a starter. Um, you just got to prepare. You know, you're watching that much more film, um, you know, preparing that much harder because you know that you're, you know, you're, your team's counting on you as a quarterback. You know, it's probably one of the most, you know, one of the most important positions on the field, if not the most important. And you have to bring your A game every week uh, for your team to succeed. Does the no touchdown passes bother you at all? No, I mean it, they'll come when they come. I mean that's not as long as we're scoring points and scoring touchdowns. You know that's what's important to me, and we're moving the ball effectively, and we're not turning the ball over, and that's kind of important. What kind of a teammate is Greg King? And he's a great teammate. I mean he's ready for his opportunity. Um, it was his birthday last weekend, so it was pretty cool for him to get his first two catches on his birthday. And um, yeah, I mean he he just works hard every day. I mean he doesn't you know he doesn't have a scholarship that's known, but he. He brings it every day, like he does have one, like he wants to play and get on the field. And um, you can see he took he took advantage of his opportunity last Saturday. Sean, when a season is not necessarily going the way that the team wants to go, you're, you're looking for team leaders to stand up. It goes with the territory of being a quarterback and yet being young and still trying to find your place in that niche. How do you work that right now? Right, that's a good question. I mean, uh, as a quarterback, like you said, you have to be a leader, but you know you don't. You don't want to step on the senior's toes or anything like that, you know. So I mean, especially I didn't start out the season as a starter, so it's a little bit different. But at the same time, I feel as a quarterback, and you know, as I'm gaining my teammates' respect, I have to keep, you know, my leadership role has to increase the more that I play. And um, so I think uh, that's something that, you know, uh, has been increasing, and I'll, and I'll continue to try to build that uh, for my team. What did you learn or experience from that last drive in that fourth quarter to kind of get to get the field goal? Did yeah, I mean, you, it, you know, with. 50 some seconds left and no timeouts. I think it was big for our team to show, you know, you know, we can we can a lot of teams wouldn't have been able to do that, you know. So when we, we went down there and, and tied the game and Daniel made a great clutch kick. He told me, you know, he said, you know, like I said after the game, give me close and I can make it. So I mean Ricardo made some really good catches. The O line did well protecting and we got down there and scored and, and you know gave us a chance to go to overtime. So I think that was huge. Sean, those drives late, particularly after, you know, I'm sure it was a little frustrating early on with some of those drop passes. As a new starter, what do you tell yourself in those moments that allows you to bounce back late and play like you did? 
No, I mean, you just got to keep, you know, keep giving them the ball. I mean, like I encourage them during the game, I'm going to keep coming to you. You know, I'm going to keep throwing them to you. So, you know, you have to just push it out of your head. Just like if I make a bad throw or throw an interception, you got to move on to the next play. And I think uh, that's what they did, and um, uh, that's what I try to tell them. How tough is this Ole Miss defense? Uh, very good. You know, very talented. They're fast. Uh, they're experienced. They're, they're a good defense. And, um, you know, we're going to have to play well. How does, has Austin and Golson mentioned anything about playing Ole Miss? Um, no, nah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sure he's excited. I mean, you know, he used to play there. I'm sure he's excited to play against his former teammates. Sean, you talk about the, the two-minute drive. As a quarterback, how much fun is that? And, and what's different about being in that two-minute scenario where you're, you're throwing every down, right. three or four wide receivers? No, yeah, I mean, it's fun. In my opinion, I think it's fun. You know, the pressure's on um, for you to try to help your team to either tie or win the game. And, um, you know, that's as a quarterback, you like those situations. Those are situations where, you know, you like to thrive in. And um, so it was fun. I mean, being down three points, you know, uh, I got my opportunity, and you know, luckily we were able to tie the game. Sean, you weren't part of the team last year after the well, you weren't excuse me, you weren't part of the sure. games where A and M and Georgia and whatnot. But from what you saw in the meeting rooms and obviously what happened, how do you know that that kind of will repeat itself? That that carryover won't happen? Um, I, I just don't think. I just think. Um, uh, I mean, I think the experience last year. Helped. I mean, a lot of the you know a lot of the guys were involved with that, and they, they saw how it affected them, and they're not going to let it happen again. And uh, it's part you know also as a quarterback, it's my responsibility to you know, like when we go out there and practice today to not let it happen, and we have to just go out and be, get ready for Ole Miss and put the game behind us, like Coach Malzahn said. We'll do a few more. When there have been so many so much expectation on Javon Robinson, and he hasn't been able to play a lot. What's he been like in practice in recent weeks? I mean, he's still working very hard. I mean, he wants to get out there. Um, I mean, it, it, you know, he's, he, he's you know, struggled with like an injury earlier on. I mean, just, I mean, you know, a new team, you know, a lot, and the other running backs have been doing pretty well. So, I mean, it's been a tough situation, but I'm sure it's been frustrating for him. But, my, you know, he's been working extremely hard in practice. And, and, and I mean, he's been, a, he's been a great team player, and he's ready to go if his name's called upon. Yeah, happy to see Jeremy go out there and score the way he Oh, did. yeah. I mean, that was a big play, fourth down a goal for him to get in. It was huge for our team. I mean, I, I'm absolutely excited for him. Um, you know, I, uh, I love him to death, so I'm glad he, he got be able, you know got, got the chance and um, you know ran with it and got in the end zone. You said you didn't want to. I'm sorry. You said you didn't want to. You don't want to step on the seniors' toes, but yet you have to lead as well. So how are you trying to balance that? Not stepping on the toes, but asserting yourself as as a leader, as a quarterback. Right. I mean, it's just you have to be smart in what kind of situations um, when you can lead. You know, when it. When the whole team's gathered up, sometimes it's your choice. You know, it's your chance to, to to be the leader. But sometimes, if it's you know, if a senior's talking and he's got the team's attention, you're not just going to butt in and, and start. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's just kind of you just kind of have to play it by ear and, and read the situation out. How much have you grown from that first start to Mississippi State to where you're at now? I think I've grown a lot. You know, just off experience, just off um, growing in the offense, chemistry with uh, my teammates. Uh, I think I think it's uh, I think I've grown a lot since then. Sean, they got the Jason Smith moving from quarterback to wide receiver and how he's doing. And could he be a bigger part of the offense down there? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think he's he's going to have to be. I mean, um, he had a great game against Arkansas, I thought. I mean, most he made the most of his opportunities. That The play, uh, the deep deep pass down the middle, he did a great job catching that. That was a big big play in the game on that drive. And obviously he had the touchdown. So um, And he had a catch in overtime. So, I mean, all of his plays were coming in pretty, you know, um, crucial situations for us. And uh, he's just got to continue to to bring it every day in practice, and I know he will. You know that's one of my good friends, and and he'll be ready to go. How how excited was he to to get his first touchdown? Well, I'm sure he was. You know he was very excited. Um, you know he he's like you know we're we're pretty far down the season. I think he thought it might have come earlier, but you know now that he's getting in the role and he's getting in the groove, I think um, I think he'll he'll uh, have have a couple more.